Welcome! Today is a special day. Special because we are going to announce a unique initiative in the context of sustainability and sport. And I'm going to talk about it with Maurits Hendricks, Games and Performance Director of Team NL, and Tim van Doorn, founder of More to Win. Um, and an empty chair to be continued. Uh, first of all, a practical note. You uh, can ask questions in the chat live, but we are going to answer all these questions later on this day. Um, Maurits, uh, let's get started. Yeah. What are we going to announce today? It's, it's known in the Olympic and Paralympic world that the teams are being led by Chef the Missions. Um, they are responsible with most nations for the performance climate. So we want our athletes to have an environment where they can uh, um, produce their optimum in, in performance. But of course we know that uh, there's much more at stake in the world than just the performance climates of athletes. We have a global climate to be concerned about. So hence today we're going to announce something very special it's the first ever chef de émission that will be named today, next to our chef de mission. And why is that important right now? If you look at the, the, the situation where we are in the world, um, uh, it, is, it is a global climate crisis that we're confronting. And um, sport has a responsibility there, as we all do. So we thought it was a very good moment to highlight that, to bring the focus on it. And that's why today the Chef de Mission will be accompanied by a Chef de Emission. Tim, uh, you're the founder of More to Win. And More to Win uh, try to realize social impact through sports. Mm -hmm. um, and you came up with the concept of a Chef de A mission in 2018 already. Um, what do you think is the potential of sports uh, to make a real contribution um, of a more sustainable world? Yeah, well, the idea of a Chef de Emission came really from the belief that, that sport has a huge potential to, to make a contribution, a real contribution to a more sustainable world. And we see the, the role that sports can play is actually in two ways. Uh, one is to reduce its own footprint as every other sector, sport has a footprint, and we have to reduce it um, to to get in touch, to get in reach with the with the climate goals of, of Paris. Uh, but what sport, what makes sport special, is the the, the positive side of it and the, the the way to to inspire people to behave in a more sustainable way. So we want to say sport has to reduce and inspire people, and I think decombination can be very powerful for sports in in the in the team of sustainability. And can you give me one example of that? Well, to, to, to put it in, 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 a, in a picture, I think the footprint of the sports sector worldwide can be compared to a country, a middle-sized country like Spain or uh, something like this. Um, but the reach of sports, the, the, the number of people we can reach out to and we can, we can, we can get in contact with, can be maybe half the world population. So if we emphasize on sports can reduce and inspire people, then I think there's a much bigger picture to get than only to focus on the reducing part of the sports sector itself. Maurits, do you uh, understand and, and, and recognize what Tim is saying? Oh, absolutely. And, and I think it's, it's, it's fair to say that uh, uh, this, this idea of sport playing a role in sustainability in itself is not new. Uh, we have lots of initiatives nationally, internationally, uh, to name a few in, in the Netherlands since 2018. We're working on a, a roadmap of sustainability, sustainability for sport, which uh, will uh, have a look at, at the reduction of the carbon footprint of, for instance, all the sport clubs and sport accommodations you have in the Netherlands. Internationally, um, uh, something uh, that, that has already been worked on by the IOC for years is to connect to an initiative that is called the, the Great Green Wall in, in Africa, uh, where the IOC will contribute uh, around the Youth Olympic Games in Senegal uh, to, to increase, uh, and I think they're going to plant about 350,000 trees. So, so those are important initiatives. If you look at performance sports, uh, in the Netherlands, um, the TU Delft, uh, our technical university together with the Sailing Innovation Center in The Hague is working on a hydrogen coach boat, uh, a zero emission coach boat. So there's a lot, lots of initiatives that are already taking place. Mm -hmm. With today, we're hoping to bring focus, uh, and as Tim's saying, not just on reduction of ourselves, but definitely also using performance sport as an inspiration for others. 
sounds sounds very good. Um, I think it's time for action. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, who is going to get the remarkable title? Um, I think Maurits' uh, stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, it is my honor and my great pleasure to uh, be announcing today our first chef de émission. Yes, Marceline de Koning, congratulations. As of today, in the possession of a remarkable title, Chef de Émission. Thank you. You look very proud. Yes, I love orange, so I, I like to wear <laughs> orange. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, uh, Beijing uh, and London were my last Olympic Games. So then I, uh, I said farewell to sports, uh, but I'm always looking at sports, of course. Uh, and I've been pretty busy with sustainability uh, in my work. So uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back in sports, together with sustainability as Chef de Emission. And what does it mean for you to be Chef de Emission? Uh, well, I'm, I'm an ambassador. Uh, I try to get all the ideas, thoughts together. Uh, it's a pioneering, yeah, it's a pioneering uh, role, actually. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, uh, stuff happening around sustainability. Uh, I mean, it's a really big, big word with lots of different side weights. So it's about emissions, it's about plastic, it's about uh, uh, diversity in uh, in, si in um, uh, supplies. So um, uh, yeah, I have to see what's already happening uh, in the market and what uh, what we c what we can uh, contribute. Yeah, Maurits, we can see it's a great ambassador already. But why uh, was Marceline chosen as chef de émission? Well, first of all, Marceline, of course, is a, is a great champion, three times world champion, uh, Olympic medal uh, winner with Locke Berghout. Um, so in, in the 470, uh, an absolutely uh, model athlete uh, with a performance track record. I think as important as that is that Marceline has chosen uh, around her active career already to involve herself with, uh, with sustainability. And uh, being, for instance, mayor of the North Sea, uh, which is, of course, mainly about a healthy uh, ocean and sea climate, um, uh, a title that uh, um, she will give back uh, this summer. We thought it is an excellent moment to combine her connection to sustainability as well as her performance track record uh, with this new role, which will then not only be nationally, but will also be internationally. Yeah, and will uh, Marceline be part of Team NL towards Tokyo as well? I'm sure in her heart she will be. <laughs> uh, will she be traveling with the team to Tokyo? No. Um, that, of course, is the work of our chef de mission, Peter van der Hogeband. Yeah. Um, but Marceline is connected to the team. And um, using Team NL as a platform to uh, inspire, uh, as well as look at your own reduction, um, well, that is, that is going to be her role, which she will start doing from, from here in the Netherlands. And um, Tim, what's the ambition of the Chef de Émission towards Paris 2024? Well, the big dream is to create a sports sector, a worldwide sports sector that is climate positive. So a sports sector that, that um, um, extracts more CO2 from the atmosphere than it admits. Mm -hmm. and I think this is completely in line with also the ambition of the, the Paris 24 um, goals they are setting on sustainability. They have a very, very high ambition to become the first climate positive Olympic Games. And we cannot leave this completely to France or Paris as a city. So we as the Netherlands want to make a contribution. On the other hand, we also see it as an as an as an movement, an international movement, to get other countries on board, to get other countries also excited to start working on a chef de émission within their own in their, within their own Olympic committee. Um, so hopefully, this all comes together within Paris 24 in uh, in um, more than uh, yeah, less than three years. Wouldn't it be great if if you have uh, other NOCs following uh, the example, connecting to this dream, mm. connecting to the goals that Paris has set, and and naming their own chef de mission? Yeah, would would be great. Big role for you, Marceline. Um, how do you see your contribution? Yeah, well, that's the the funny part about being the first. There's a pioneering uh, role for me. Uh, there's an ambassador role. So I first like to see what's ha already happening. I know uh, there can still be some uh, solar panels on the roofs here uh, in Papendal. 
So uh, uh, just see what's out there and what's not. Some uh, federations are pretty uh, forward already, are, are really thinking about sustainability. Some sports are not. Um, I know internationally the English are pretty far with uh, taking gar the plastic garbage back. I know the sailors are pretty uh, high on that. Um, then there's the Canadians that, that strive really forward about sustainability, Japan of course. So um, there's already a lot out there. We just have to gather it, or I have to gather it, see what's working for the Netherlands and what's already happening in the Netherlands and what's not, and, uh, and see how we can get, get it from there. And after the Paralympics uh, in Japan, there's going to be a, a set a baseline by uh, more to win and the Copper 8, uh, what our footprint is, the, 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 the footprint of the Olympic team right now. And then we have a, a starting point and then see how, how, how we can reduce that towards Paris. Cool. C can you explain what's your first real action as ambassador right now? Well, uh, after this, this special moment, um, I'll, I'll gather a lot of information. And uh, during the uh, Olympic uh, uh, Games, there's going to be an Olympic festival in Scheveningen. Scheveningen. The, the capital of the <laughs> North Sea. Uh, uh, so there's going to be a lot of uh, people together. Uh, and uh, hopefully also international and then we're going to speak with all the, the federations and uh, uh, other sports uh, sector persons, people, uh, companies, uh, see what they're, what's already happening out there. And we have one full day, the 3rd of, uh, of August, Sustainability Day. So cool. uh, that's going to be the first action outwards. Cool. Yeah, cool. What you see in the, in the work of Marcin, or, uh, there's, there's actually two steps. If you want to inspire people to become more sustainable, you have to set the right example yourself. So we have to work on the own organization of Team NL, of the, the Dutch sport organization, to set the right example and become as most, as most sustainable as possible in order to inspire people to, do, to follow this example. So I think these two steps you see in the work of, of, of Marceline in the, coming, in the coming months and years. It's all about teamwork. Um, so Marceline, the camera is over there. People are over there. Um, I think it's time, the camera is yours. Yeah. Great shout out to everyone over there. Yeah, well, this is the, the moment. There's only one planet, so let's keep it safe. Uh, sports, we can really reduce our, uh, our footprint. Uh, this is the moment that we start as a, with a chef de émission, and maybe we can spread that throughout the world. So if there's anything you'd like to add, be part of the team, uh, start your own chef de émission somewhere worldwide. Please let us know and drop a line on the email address right in the, in the screen right now, and uh, hopefully to see you somewhere around the world or speak to you and uh, good luck, keep this world safe. Yeah, and uh, thank you, Maurits. Uh, thank you, Tim, and Chef de Emission. Uh, Marceline, thank you so much for coming and uh, sharing your story. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's keep the good spirits, I guess, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.